Hello everyone. So today we're going to be discussing page 69 to 70 in the module. So first let's start with this question, right? A student wants to build a simple lift motor control system which operates using two buttons A and B for a two-story building. A is for up button, B is for down button. The lift motor only activates when someone presses any button, any one of the buttons. Diagram 7.1 shows the circuit that can be used to activate the motor. Okay, so here's a little circuit thing. And then it says when pressed, logic is 1, not pressed, logic is 0. And obviously when motor is activated, logic is 1, right? So then first question, table 7 is a truth table which shows the operations of the logic gates in a lift motor control system. So from here, remember the things I just underlined? It says when someone presses any one of the buttons, it activates. So from here, you can guess that this could be an OR gate. Which means, let's say, someone presses A, then it's and B is not activated, the relay switch will still be activated and the motor will be on. Both are switched on, this is also on. Both are switched off, then this is off. So from here, both of them off, so this is zero. One of them is on, so it's one. One of them is on again, one. Both of them are on, yep, it's one. And then using the keys given, complete table seven. seven. Okay, that's done. Name the logic gate in the circuit diagram in 7.1. Or gate. In the space below, draw the logic gate symbol in 7A2. Okay. Just give me a second. That's how you draw it. Okay. Now onwards to the next question, right? The door of the lift is fitted with a light transmitter and a detector which is a light dependent resistor, LDR. If the light dependent resistor detects light, the relay switch is activated and the lift door clo will close. Diagram 7.2 shows an electronic circuit for the control system of the lift door. Okay, state the relationship between the resistance and the, res in the intensity of light received by the light dependent resistor. Okay, so this isn't too hard. It's going to be something like the resistance of the light dependent resistor decreases when the light intensity increases. Oh, actually, I made a mistake right here. I left out one question on top here. All right, so why is a relay switch needed in the circuit? Good question. Well, from here, remember like this 240 volts, right? Now you don't want to fry your other electrical components. Even in the previous diagram, what if there were there were other components um, excluding transistors, right? Don't want to fry them. You want to overheat them so that you, so like this can still function. Because if one thing breaks and current doesn't pass through, then nothing works. So yeah, that's the basic idea. So why is a relay switch needed? Well, go back to this again. 240 volts is required for the motor to be switched on and a relay switch needs to be used in order to not damage the other electrical 
components. So that the motor can be activated. Pretty dope, right? Okay, onwards to the next question, right? Complete the circuit in diagram by drawing the resistor and the light dependent resistor using the symbols given below. So first we have a resistor, and second one we have the light dependent resistor, short form LDR. Okay, so they said they want this to switch to switch on when it, the resistor detects light. Um, hold on, let me wait until this focuses. Okay, cool. Light dependent resistor detects light. The relay switch is activated. Okay. In other words, you're going to have to put your LDR, this one, at the top portion here. Let me just draw that. And you have to put your resistor right here. Now, why did I do this? Well, that's going to be explained in the next question, right? Which is explain how the circuit functions. Okay, great. So this is going to summarize everything we've done so far. Okay, so first, in bright environment, the resistance of the light dependent resistor <clears throat> falls greatly right and then um, basically what that does is that the voltage across the LDR decreases and so because of this the voltage across the resistor increases. See what I mean? The LDR decreases and the voltage across the resistor increases. Next, the base current is high and Excuse me. And the transistor is switched on. However, or should I say moreover, the collector current also increases. And finally, the relay switch switches on and the motor is activated. So yeah, that's about it. Basically when when there's light then you know and then this will be able to function. That's the whole point of this entire circuit. Well, I think that's about it. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.